Thanks for checking out 3D Products. I'm Donald Williams. We're back at it again with uh, one of our favorite products. This is the 3D Bug Remover. It's a enzyme-based cleaner. It's made to go through and eat these bug guts. Here in Southern California, we got a lot of bugs. Uh, this sucker was driven through, I think, Kansas. It's definitely a collectible of all sorts of bugs. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna take the 3D Bug Remover 103, and we're actually gonna kind of saturate this to uh, allow for penetration and allow the enzymes to actually eat these bug guts up. So we're gonna do the whole front end of this car. We're gonna do this waterlessly so that you can see you know, the actual power of waterless car wash along with the bug cleaner. Now, because there's so much on here, we definitely wanna get a good soaking. They use about two ounces maybe of product for the whole front end of this car. So we're gonna just make sure we get all these places where these bugs were hiding. And definitely looks like it hit a big bug there with the license plate. Now we've done that, let it sit. Kind of let it, uh, if you have to, you know, you could agitate a little bit, but really what you wanna do now is take, obviously while you're doing this, you don't wanna do this straight in the sun because it's a degreaser. We wanna make sure that we do it in a controlled environment. Um, you know, we don't wanna be over 90 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Uh, then take waterless car wash and just give it a quick little spray down. What this is going to do is this is going to create some lubrication between our soft rock brush or our towels to make sure that you get as, as little of a scratch as possible. Now if you have a pressure washer, obviously that's ideal. But we're going to take, let this sit for a second. We're going to use a microfiber towel to show you that this thing is ready to take off pretty much any bug without really heavy agitation. Eww, nasty. But look at that, one clean swipe. Fold it in half, because I ain't touching my hands on that. Now we do have some class five clingers on here that we'll need to probably agitate with a soft rock brush. Dump some of those, I think we got a whole family on this. If you're a Bugs Life fan, this might not be the best video for you. I'm definitely gonna go through a couple more towels than you would if you were gonna do this waterlessly. Saving off the license plate. And just take and wipe it down. And get as much of the loose stuff as you can off the car. So you don't have to get a whole lot of scrubbing that goes on. It's pretty nasty. Take your other towel. You can use an S motion because this car is gonna definitely need a detail. Preferably with HD speed, or AT505. Wipe it down, get a little buff out. Already, we're looking a ton better. Now we're looking for a little more agitation for some of these areas that were hard to reach. We like to use um, a soft log brush. Now if you feel like you have a lot more grime to get off, a lot more bug guts, go ahead and give it another shot with your bug remover, because you know you got some stubborn guys on there. Definitely not as much as you needed to in the first go around without time to eat. Then just give a little bit more of a waterless car wash rinse here so that you can create lubrication between the panel and the brush. Give yourself your brush a little bit of a shot there too. You had to get into some of these cracks, these crannies. You had to do a little bit of a scrub here. Go for it. Getting into this grill. Now if you have to, and it's really nasty, have a water bucket set aside to take and rinse off your, your brush, but usually you shouldn't have to worry about that. You can usually just fling it right down on the ground. Give yourself a little bit more of a waterless spray here. Let's get the rest of these bug guts off and whatever else is on there. Make sure you lubricate, especially because we're using the soft rod brush. You want to make sure that we don't scrape the paint up too much. You will get light scratches, but I think anytime you're trying to get rid of certain things on a car that was as bad as this, you're going to get a little bit of a scratch. It's going to be very difficult. Uh, pressure washer most likely will not remove all of this. It will take a little bit of elbow grease and some enzymes to eat it up. Go here on the license plate as much as you can. There we go. Now we've loosened it up. Go ahead one more time. Rinse it down with your waterless car wash. Taking two towels, one to wash, one to dry. Go ahead and go in a S motion, buffing behind it, or in one direction. Go ahead and buff it off. All we have left here is chips. So not nearly the bug guts that was on there from the first go around. Make sure you get in, dry these out. All sorts of little tools we can use to get these uh, things out of nicks and crannies. We use uh, like a dash brush, 
take in that'll knock it out. Soft, clean, soft floss brush always is pretty good choice. You know, it's going to be a little difficult to get your fingers in there. You can also could take an air hose or a vacuum, take and suck it right out of there, get nice and clean, just to make sure that you. I mean, if you're doing a detail job and you want to make sure you're doing the best job for your customer or for yourself, you know, maybe a little orange jacket. Go ahead with a, a nice small horsehair brush. Get those guts out and make sure that you good. You don't want to use the brush that you use to clean the guts out with, unless you clean it first. Because otherwise, you're going to be putting those things right back into your grill. And we've gone through and we finished what we can do here with the bug remover and the waterless car wash. Not too difficult, considering you look like you ran through a forest of uh, bugs here. Uh, now we're ready to go. We'll do a quick little detail on this. Put some uh, dressing on it. Send this off to the owner.